In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about what exactly is conditional formatting and uh, what conditional formatting means in terms of dynamically formatting the cells. Here in this case, we will take an example of percentage annual salaries and uh, let's say, you know, uh, we want to highlight all employees who have more than 8% of the total salary. And let's say we also want to highlight those who receive, let's say, less than 3% of the total salary. The highlight can be of the color of your choice. Maybe, you know, we can highlight these in yellow or orange and uh, the other one green. So this is what we want. Essentially, we want the system or the Excel to identify these conditions automatically and highlight those who have taken more than 8% of the total salary. In this case, this will be Melvin and um, maybe Grace. So these are the two who would be highlighted in orange and likewise those who receive less than 3% of the total salary should be highlighted in green. So we want it to be done dynamically so that we don't have to do it time and again. Every time we uh, you know change the employee salary or maybe every time a new employee comes in uh, in this table you know he should uh, get automatically adjusted to these kind of formatting so in order to do these set of conditional formatting let's go to the home tab and click here on conditional formatting but before that one thing which we need to make sure is we need to choose the cells on which we want to perform the conditional formatting so let's choose these cells first and let's click here conditional formatting and uh, go to highlight cell rules under the highlight cell rules you will find it it mentions greater than less than between equal to etc you will find we need to make use of greater than symbol and uh, here we need to we are provided a space where we can write 8% and uh, the one which we need to format is custom format go to fill and we want to choose the orange color so we've chosen orange color and the next thing we need to do is press ok so here we have you know Melvin and Aaron both of them have been highlighted because they have their salaries more than 8% the other set of thing which we also wanted to do in the same uh, range is that we want to highlight those who have or who are earning less than 3% of the total salary. So let's check this range again. Click on conditional formatting. Go to highlight cell rules. This time we need to select less than. And once we click on less than, we need to type the percentage 3% and the, we'll again use the custom formatting. And at this time we'll highlight those in green and we'll press OK. So here we find there are four guys who are earning less than 3% of the total salaries. So this is the way in which you can uh, dynamically format these cells. And probably if I have to uh, show you a point here, you know, let's, let's just update Sarah's salary for a minute and uh, see what happens. If I make this as $10,000, her salary also gets updated and the other set of formulas also gets updated. So uh, this is the way in which you know it kind of functions or let's say you know if we need to kind of update the salary of Melvin instead of 9 to 0, 0 let me put it as 920. So what will happen is again he comes under the 3% bracket and the color of the cell gets dynamically updated. So I'll go back to the place where we came from and this is how you know conditional formatting can be applied so this is a very interesting way another way where uh, you can actually apply uh, conditional formatting is by using the formulas so let me uh, show you a way first in to how to remove the conditional formatting let's say if i want to remove the conditional formatting from these set of cells you cannot do it by just deleting or you know uh, trying to no fill the cells this will not remove your set of conditional formatting. The conditional formatting can be removed only from the place it was created. So you need to click here again on conditional formatting and uh, click on clear rules. And there are two options, clear rules from the selected cells or clear rules from the entire sheet. 
So I'll clear rows from the selected cells because that's what I want to do. And here you go. You find that uh, all the conditional formatting has been undone. So this is how you can remove conditional formatting. Now I was actually talking about uh, applying a formula in conditional formatting. Let's say I want to highlight a cell which has maximum and which has the minimum. So uh, what I mean by maximum and minimum is out of this range who has the highest percentage or the maximum percentage in terms of total salary and also highlight the one which has the minimum salary. So this means that we may have to dynamically update this conditional formatting using a formula which we have earlier seen as like this maximum and minimum. So we need to apply these set of formulas on this range within the conditional formatting. So for this what we need to do is we just select these cells again we go to conditional formatting this time we select new rule okay so go to new rule and you will find there are various kinds of options format all cells based on their value format only cells that contains format only top or bottom ranked values so the one which we must be interested in is basically format only cells that contains in this case you may find that there is a drop down menu here so we need to choose cell value and in the second drop down you need to choose equal to and once you have selected equal to here you need to type the formula like the one you were usually typing in maximum salaries and minimum salaries so let's do that we type maximum which is equal to max bracket open and select the full range which we want for the calculation of maximum salary and we do that and let's say you know we want to format that with blue so and the next thing that we need to do is just press ok so we see that uh, Melvin who actually take home the maximum salary is highlighted that is 9.66 percentage now again we can do the same thing to calculate or to highlight the minimum so we go back to the conditional formatting we click on new rules we select format only cells that contain the drop down cell value here we need to choose equal to and this time we apply the minimum formula so this is min bracket open we choose the cells on which we want to perform the calculations and we close the bracket and let's say we format this using a red font or the red background and we just press OK so that's about it so basically you can within your conditional formatting provide a numerical number or let's say a dynamic formula that with which you know we have seen in our case